What's up, yeah, Joe? Good morning. This time I got some cough drops, so make sure I don't cough into the mic as much. <coughs> and at the same time, caffeine, because, you know, I need that shit. Wow, recoil on coffee don't taste good. Fuck. Alright, <coughs> trying to get back to the routine of making more content. I want to share some personal story for you guys. Because, uh, you know, the more I do my streams, you know, the more I talk to you guys, you know, live, you know through chat and all that stuff, you know. I'm getting to know that some of you guys have like, uh, you guys have goals of becoming an editor, right? And like, I guess uh, I see that, you know. Some of you don't really have a computer yet. You guys are aiming to get a laptop, you know. Some of you are, you know, starting to work for a, um, a gamer. So you're doing like editing work for their, you know, their live streams. Uh, some of you uh, are starting to a YouTube channel and want to learn how to edit, you know, because, you know, you you want to make more content for your own channel, you know, stuff like that. And some of you, uh, I learned that you guys want to make like uh, music and stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Do want to do music videos and all this shit. Yeah, so that's the cool thing about like doing my live streams. So I I can see the passion behind the the username, right? <laughs> you guys uh, each have your goals of what you want to achieve with your with your life, and yeah, go for it, right? So, since I see most of you guys are starting out in like uh, learning how to edit, and you guys want to get into that lifestyle, right? Uh, I guess I want to share a story with you that, um, you know, something that I experienced when I was getting into editing when I started out, right? As I mentioned before, I started working in construction, right? It wasn't my thing anymore, so I was trying to, like, change my career, you know? So I got into, like, editing, started to learn how to edit, do my own stuff and all that, right? Around 27, I started, you know, doing editing work. Somewhere in my early 30s, I don't remember exactly what when, right? But somewhere in my early 30s, like, after, let's just say, five, six years of being, like, practicing, studying or whatever, I got to a point where I was like, oh, shit. I actually met someone like Paul. I'm starting to work with him. Like, I see the ball rolling. I'm starting to, like, get paid. I'm starting to, like, make content. All of a sudden, like, uh, I'm starting to get followers on Twitter, you know? It's just stuff like that. Uh, I got invited to go to Taiwan. I'm going to Vegas, you know? All of a sudden, it's like, oh, shit. Everything that I guess I've been working for is starting to happen, you know? It's uh, such a weird feeling. It's a good feeling, but it's weird because it's so new to me. And that feeling, I guess, that I was experiencing was self-pride. You know, was self-satisfaction, it's self-happiness uh, for myself. Just that relief of like, wow, I worked for this and it happened. It's one of the best things ever, and I hope you guys experience that yourself soon, right? Whatever your goals may be, right? But the thing that um, I guess I want to bring up with this video, and I guess I want to like make sure you guys keep this in mind as you're working towards your own goals, is that uh, we as humans can be very um, self-sabotaging at times, right? Depending on your personality, but because we're so used to the um, the common, you know, your routines or you know, habit, we tend to stick to what's normal to us, right? At the moment, right? You know, I was so used to working at construction, doing, you know, getting paid a certain amount, you know, the drama, the dealing with the people, you know, the environment, like, all that was familiar with me, right? Then all of a sudden from like that, jumping towards an environment where like I'm surrounded by people that are like are very familiar with computers, high tech, uh, you know, it's not construction anymore. So, you know, say like, you know, work, you have like construction clothes, everybody's dressed in a different manner. Everybody acts a different manner. The way the discussions go is a different manner than construction, obviously. It's a completely different environment. So for a moment, I was like overwhelmed. I was like, whoa, I was so out of my comfort level. And I remember, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this story and this is something I never told anyone, but I'm just going to share it with you. Because uh, I'm trying to make a point with this. The second time I was going to go to Taiwan, I just felt this weird feeling of like, do I belong here? Do I need to get involved with this? Like, there's almost this self-sabotage feeling because like it was so new to me, right? Everything, like I said, like the environment was so different from fucking like me, what I'm used to in the construction world. That it like, it was very uncomfortable almost, right? And, and I almost, almost like decided not to go to the second trip to Taiwan. I was just, I was going to tell Pot that I can work from home, right? I don't know, talking to my girlfriend or talking to myself, I really don't know. I just made the choice, like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Let's do it, let's, let's go. Thankfully, I did go with them the second time to Taiwan, you know, before the pandemic hit. And, yeah, and I went, and the second time I went, I had more of a blast, right? The first time I had fun, but uh, the first time I went, you know, I was just like, ah, I was all crazy, right? And going out to parties all the time, we were eating, and I was drinking a lot of booze, just being stupid, right? <laughs> the second time I went, I went, I had a different state of mind. The second time I went, I actually wanted to try to, like, talk to people and, you know, step out of my comfort zone, and sure enough, I had a blast. I met people, you know, I talked to people, I got to know other YouTubers and stuff like that, you know? And I had more of a blast, and I'm just so glad that for myself that I actually went, right? So, I guess the point I'm trying to get at with this video is that, um, uh, since a lot of you guys that follow me or chat with me through, uh, you know, my streams, you guys are starting out, you guys are, like, you know, trying to aim for your goals to become, uh, an editor for, you know, a streamer, a YouTuber, or do your music videos or whatever. Just know that, like, uh, 
once all that starts to come at you, just be careful not to be a self-sabotager, you know, because you're so used to a certain lifestyle that all of a sudden it's like, boom, here you go. You know, now you're editing for a big Twitch streamer. Now you're editing for a big gamer or whatever. Now you're editing for um, a music director or something like that. It's going to be a little surprising, you know, and it's such a good feeling. You know, you got to learn to like take a step back, you know, embrace that feels, you know, what you're experiencing. Take a deep breath and be proud and like that yeah, you, you achieved it. You know, you did, you achieved your goals and you should be proud of yourself if you get to that point, right? I remember the first time I went to Taiwan and like everybody was sleeping, you know, we had an Airbnb. We were sharing the room with Kyle and his ex-wife, uh, Heather. Uh, and I don't know, I, I just didn't want to, I just woke up in bed and I just walked out the front door and I started walking around the neighborhood. And it's like, wow, I've never been, I've never been to an Asian country before. Here I am walking around in the neighborhood of Taiwan and I got here because of like, you know, me studying, me working hard, me networking, you know, just walking around the, the neighborhood and I was like, wow. I got so emotional about it, you know, because like I achieved my goals, you know, this is something I wanted. I wanted to travel for work, you know, just like it happened, you know, and it's just like, wow, that's a good feeling, right? And I hope you guys can achieve those that level of happiness too s soon, right? Whatever it is you guys uh, are aiming for, I'm very sure you're gonna, you guys are gonna achieve it, right? But yeah, focus on it, you know, aim for it. Work on it daily. You have to work on it daily, my friends, you know, don't put it off, you know. Even if you don't have a computer, right? I know some of you don't have a, a computer at the moment. That's fine. Still, if uh, watch watch tutorials, right? Try to network with people. Maybe make friends that have a computer so they can like let you borrow an old one or something, you know, anything, right? There's ways around things, right? Whatever that may be. With technology nowadays, there's really no reason for you not to like do a little bit of progress every day. You know, you can watch tutorials, you can read something, you can try to network with people. You know, there's apps, you know, find like-minded people, you know, go with meetup groups, you know, try to make some friends. You know, if you don't have a computer to edit, cool. And try to at least like find people that they want to film, but they need help. So be like, hey, I can help. Fucking like, I don't know, you help, you help hold a boom mic or some shit, anything. And as you're there, just ask questions, be like, oh, what you got here? All right, huh? yada, yada. Do you have an extra computer? Can I help you edit? Yada, yada. You know, just get out there. <laughs> it's going to happen, all right? But you got to make it work for you, man. You got to do something, right? No matter how little, you got to work on it, right? So anyways, that's really all I have to say. Um, I really wish you guys success. And um, part of the reason why I'm trying to learn Da Vinci myself now is basically so I can help you guys achieve those goals as well. All right, so um, yeah, like I said, I've been sick, so I haven't been like doing much, but <laughs> now I'm feeling a lot better and I'm going to get back to the routine of like, you know, learning and doing my tutorials and all that good stuff, right? Uh, same thing with my streams. So anyway, so I have to say, uh, you guys kick ass. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, remember, if you guys want to chat with me, just hang out with me on Mondays. I'm trying to fucking schedule another stream either on Tuesday or Wednesdays because uh, my girlfriend, she... Um, works late on those on those days so figured i can work in the afternoons so i'm trying to do that right but fuck <laughs> like this like I said, i've been sick and just it sucks ass right now but anyways <laughs> that's all i have to say thanks for hanging out with me take care and peace bye <laughs>